All right, how's it going? Pull back with this, this world that's been consumed with uh, natural gases. I really, I think I, I got to turn all of this stuff into um, into vacuum because I'm I'm spreading too much heat to my base. Um, in fact, maybe I don't know. If we can get those aqua tuners working, um, uh, then my hope, oh my god, the streams, um, then I, I hope, uh, I was just hoping I could get the, uh, you could, if you zoom out, you can get, like, the world, one of the worlds there. Apparently this world might be, like, orbiting uh, a gas giant or something. So what was I doing? Oh fuck! Fuck! What have I done? <laughs> oh my god! I need to uh, to relocate. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna relocate to like here. Because there's just too much oil pooling up. Uh, we'll get natural gas generators. <laughs> We're gonna make this level nine. Uh, let's see. Go check my blueprints here. Um, so I'm going with um, three three layers of um, piping uh, before we get to the final layer of the uh, the liquid pump. Uh, man, I need. Uh, only problem is I need. I actually like really really need um, this bloody uh, power to, to to flow through this area. Um, pa -pa 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 power. Next to dormancy, 110 cycles. Jesus, this is amazing. Holy fucking shit. And it's really weird, because, like, I'm producing... I'm producing enough um, steam in this area, um, or at least maybe because this thing is idle for so long, but I'm producing enough steam in this area to cool it down. To a point where uh, these things don't um, overheat, which is pretty great. I did not account for that as much with this room now because we've got lots of um, broken stuff here. We're running at 314 degrees Celsius. I guess maybe it's the temperature as well. No, no. Not even. And this is producing even more stuff as well. So I think. The issue might be the eruption period. Okay, so this one, this one lasts for a bit longer, so it's it's producing more heat uh, ever so slightly. So we need to uh, we need to account for that. Hundred degrees. Yeah, no, just the ambient temperature in this area is increasing so much because of this. I need um I need more um anti entropy um um thermo nullifiers. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it is right. Anti-entropy thermonolifier. So it's, um, it's, uh... I don't know how to explain it. You could argue that black holes are anti-entropy, um, if you can, if you can make the argument that, uh, black holes are absolute zero at their core. Um, so it's a, like a black hole machine, <laughs> something like that.
Oh, fuck. Yeah, right. I need, um... Pipes. El Pipo. Oh, there's not enough natural gases here. Um, I'm gonna remove the, uh, the pump then. It's too much carbon dioxide. Why, why is there more carbon dioxide here? Um, and there we go. So we can get more um, more gases flowing through here. Uh, uh, we don't want this this um, flowing into into there because we need. why there's so much carbon dioxide here. You know what the solution is? Here's the solution. Carbon skimmer. Fucking perfect. Um, we'll build it here and we'll place some um, two tiles here. I feel like I don't need insulated tiles here. It should be mesh tiles. So that's what I'm going to do. Build mesh tiles. We're going to make this priority nine, and we're also going to turn these into mesh tiles as well. Because I just uh, I need mesh tiles. Oh, right now, because this is not being powered. Uh, what am I doing here? Why, why am I doing this? Uh, we want to... Um, pipe all this stuff into here. That's the goal. And already there's like too much, too much stuff here.
Okay, so here's what I need to do. I also need to um, um, set some automation ready up here. Um, I'm going to set a pump. How am I doing this? So we want uh, enter here. El Pompo. And then um, El Pompo. No, so. set a separate pump separate print Okay, so we're getting an average temperature of about 310 degrees Celsius. So I think, yeah, the definitely the solution is to, to pump more water into here. What is this doing here? I need to set some... <sighs> okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to set an OR switch. OR gate. Uh, yeah, fuck. OR. We can do that. That's good. So... If either um, this or um, uh, this is so like this, bam, bam, uh, then activate uh, these, and I'm going to turn. I'm going to keep this off, so I'm not wasting natural gases. Piping gradient pipe. There we go.
something out of here. Gate. So there is an AND gate. It's, it's weird. Why do you need an AND gate? Because you can actually... Um, it actually works. Like, if you if you were to put two automation wires on the same network, it, it could, and, and have several sources for turning it on. That that works. I mean, I guess, I guess if you have, like, maybe more than two sources of um, import, um, um, for automation, then it kind of makes sense, but still. I'm actually curious if you can get lead poisoning in this game. It actually goes to the top. That is actually really useful to know. What's the orange gas? It's a uh, natural gas. Um, it's what I'm using currently to power a lot of um, this stuff here. Um, currently, I'm on a yeah, I'm on 850 watts, so that's pretty good. But um, the system at this current moment has the capacity to produce up to um, oh, it's at times four. Uh, it's the third. Uh, 3,200 watts at this current moment, which is actually more than my system can handle. I mean, like uh, I'm only uh, I'm only outputting at most 2,000 um, uh, 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 two two kilojoules worth of um, power. While I'm while I'm doing this, so when I get it's radiant pipes, so I think that's that's almost enough piping that I, I can I can put into the into this. I'm gonna replace this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna replace this with um, insulated tile, so I don't have to worry about natural gas blowing up. It doesn't blow up. I mean, it is a bit weird because it is methane, but it doesn't like you don't you don't have that kind of natural like um, you don't have that kind of reaction in this game. I think the assumption is that everything is insulated against that, against um, uh, stuff blowing up. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Okay, so according to my blueprints, it ends here. I need more gold, just a bit more gold. So if, if my system can um, can handle maybe three more. The problem is my my um, the temperature of this water is getting to a point where it won't really cool down um, this metal refinery. Uh, I'm working on that. Hopefully, hopefully the system uh, that I've got should be able to handle that. We are pulling up a lot of natural gas inside these pipes, so that's really good. Hopefully, yeah, like the combination of this, these steam turbines um, and um, and and this should should cool it down. I'm gonna cool it down with petroleum, actually. That's that's actually a really good idea because petroleum petroleum um, can uh, if you cool it down, it can go down to, to about minus 50, to minus 60 degrees Celsius, so if you can set the system to go minus 50 degrees Celsius, and, uh, and it's high as something like 300 degrees Celsius, so it's, it is a, it is a, an amazing coolant, mid-game coolant, I think. Um, I'm not sure... Uh, what else is is actually better? I've heard that there's something called super coolant, but that's like way way ahead um, of, of where I'm at. We have steel. We've got gold as well. I need lots of gold. I think so. I need um, temp shift plates as well to to transfer um, heat to the to the crude oil. So if I look at this, and it costs eight hundred, so I need about um, two thousand four hundred gold. Uh, yeah, two two point four tons worth of gold. So unfortunately, I won't be able to, to get this coolant quite yet. Actually, if I look at the, I, I don't, I, I can't, I'm not going to Google um, petroleum, but I, I will check crude oil first to see how much what their properties are. So you've got freezing point is 40 degrees Celsius and evaporation point is 400 degrees Celsius. Um, I think. If I were to look at polluted water, it's minus 20 degrees Celsius. So it's, it's it's slightly better than polluted water. But I think petroleum gets to about minus 60 degrees. Um, minus 60 degrees and like 600 degrees evaporation point. So... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It might be, it might be a little less than that. It might be closer to 400 degrees because I think... Um, because I've noticed that a byproduct of petroleum, if you if you heat it up enough and evaporate it, you can turn it into sour gas, which is a combination of um, methane and um, sulfur, which is actually kind of useful. If it would have been useful if I didn't have a, a liquid sulfur geyser, because you can use sulfur. Um, feed sulfur to um, sweetles and that would produce sucrose which is used in food production um, but I've got so much um, sulfur right now if I can check I'm not sure if I have it listed yeah so I've, I have 253.3 tons worth of sulfur I am not gonna run out of that That's one thing I could do. I'm thinking uh, I'm going to turn a significant portion of this. I'm going to maybe like um, uh, coordinate off with like a vacuum fill chamber. And I'm probably going to also, um, you know, I'm also going to, I'm also going to, um, 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not this area. I don't know. I want to find another anti-entropy nullifier. That would be great. If I could find one of those, I could essentially create a um, a cooling solution for my um, for a potential base of operations. Um, I'm going to split like I'm, uh, the plan is to split animals and and cordon them off into one part of the base, and then splitting off like agriculture, and then having like a, a team of farmers um, do their thing, like in a separate chamber as well. And then having like a shipping solution so that like uh, so that I could um, um, and then like have like 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 the cooks um, with their um, electric grills and um, uh, uh, what do you call it gas? Uh, there's a natural gas um, cooking thing somewhere here if I can find it. Yeah, so you can cook with a gas range, which requires natural gas. We'll have that cordoned off in, in its own separate area because that requires um, a lot of heat. I mean, that produces a lot of heat. <laughs> yeah. Um... And it's 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 necessary that I do that. I need like I need um, I need to co cordon those areas off because um, this this area this this general area that isn't um, like my base is like heating up to a point where I mean I'm concerned that um, the heat is gonna just just dramatically increase my base my base's heat to a point where it's going to be unlivable, so I've got a plan plan for the future. I might actually use this this anti entropy nullifier. I was I was thinking maybe I'm going to different use a different one, but um, I'll just get rid of the um, piping here because this is this is just going to warm up the base, unfortunately. And it's convenient too, because it, it's on. It's um. It is um uh on the same like if if you like all also my my entire base or at least these these tiles are di um uh divided with um four spaces in between between each floors uh between each floor. So this this is actually perfect because it's on it's on the right um, it's on the right um, tile for the spacing. It's perfect. Oh man, that's another reason why I was um I wanted to make uh, um. What do you call it? Uh, petroleum, right? So not just for cooling. I need petroleum for plastic production because uh, these um, uh, Drecos, smooth Drecos, or glossy Drecos, whatever you call them, they're not producing uh, plastic fast enough for what I need. I, I need to build transit tubes and they are extremely expensive. So like if I were to, to build a transit tube here, like just as an example, bam, like this. Oh, maybe, maybe I have enough. It's, it's possible. No, you know what? You know what? It's it's better to build the transit tube thingo. Uh, the 
let's see. So we're going to build it with this wire because the the, um, the network isn't using as much. Yeah, so we're going to we're going to do it here instead. We're going to do it like this. Oh my god, it's perfect. All right. So we're going to go at all the networks. We're going to destroy these tiles. I'm going to destroy this and destroy this. We're going to make all of this priority nine. I'm going to have a look at my maples here. Do they have... Zero surface germs, of course, because the suits don't. The suits don't actually have germs. They don't. They don't um, transfer germs. So I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna destroy these, and I'm gonna replace it with a um, uh, with a transit um, tube network. I'm also gonna destroy these two. So I'm gonna make this priority nine, and I'm gonna bam like. That priority nine. God damn it. Network here. I think there's a case to be made um, for so we're going to make it a not gate. So gonna, it's it's gonna like be a flipped thing, am I? Uh, and a filter gate if an input has been received for a longer than requested time. We're gonna make it a gas element sensor.
like this. Get the automation wire. Bam, like, oops. Uh, I broke the automation wires. Fuck, I, I, I did, I fucked that up, so. Like that to a buffer, buffer gate. Bam, uh, and then a not gate. Like that. Uh, and it will be an AND gate. Or it's an OR gate. So we're going to put that here. We're going to break this. Automation. That's going to be number one. This is going to be number two. Uh, this is going to be number three. Bam. Like that. And there we go. Nice. That's how it works. potential power consumed, I want to look for Alright, this fluctuates too much. This this one this one is perfect. Let's look 380, 320. This is a different line. Scolding. Oh, because the copper is too hot, I see. Oh, that's not good.
is going on here? Do we have... Where's the fridge? I'm gonna look at the automation, if you can automate that. Oh, nice. Oh, you can actually automate the fridge, so if it gets full... Um, Alright, nice. with this, we're going to deconstruct this. I want to put some uh, weed swords down. Weed swords. Uh, we're going to put weed swords on on the edges here as well. So weasel what's here, here, here. I see what the problem is. So we're getting over pressure. We need uh, to put more gases here. Uh, let's have a look here as well, I think. If I can. Too as well. Producing gold fast enough, I gotta say. Okay. 
Please work. I'm gonna replace this with weasel as well. If I can. If I can. Nice. It works.
damage tile. Transitude. Okay, transitude, transitude. If I were a transit dude, where would I go? Clearly not enough plastic. So if I can, we need to get more plastic. Let's get those tension lights set to gold.
Why are they using ladders? Why, why are they using this? Running now is a lot of it's a cold, but you're gonna have to get swamped then, aren't you?
Steel. Senses need uh, need to be gold as well. These two, so we're gonna go with algae. Yeah, sure. I'm not really not a, not a big uh, war guy, so I don't mind spoilers. Yeah. Unless, of course, that's an old message that I didn't read. <laughs> because I've been focusing on this. Uh, oh, I just realized the uh, fucking uh, ladders. I need the ladders here because it's just going to take too long for these guys to go like go down and around. I don't like that. So you're playing as an AI that is based off a, a brain scan of one of the employees the company that caused the earth to blow up and made all these machines and gene genetically engineered edibles. Alright. Oh really? I guess that's like research. What research is in the game is like feeding the machine. <laughs> uh, is that the end of the game? Can you end the game after 6,000 cycles or something because of that? That's a weird one. Oh, okay. It's just... Very fucked up. He or she fucked up. Real bad. <laughs> Alright, uh, I need to get uh, window tiles. There we go, and a mechanized airlock. Replicants are clans of employees too, so if the AI can remain and regain her memories, maybe they can too. Oh yeah. Alright, maybe they'll commit suicide too. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up.
Maybe I should make this out of iron ore. I should make the door out of steel if I can. these ladders as well because I gotta I gotta like add the spike to this Oh yes, I've already I've already created this right. So I want to make this next tile out of steel. I think. Uh, if I can find steel, it's cobalt. Cobalt looks a lot like steel. It's a problem. Um, ah, there we are. I think that's where I want to put it. And then we'll we'll add like, like uh, where is it? this here. We'll add the, the heat spike down here. We don't want to put it too close to any components. But I think that's that's good good to put it there. Uh, add this one. Um, uh, conflict as it were. Oh I need to um, move debris. So hopefully, um, if I get a good um, duplicate, I will be producing more duplicates in the future, possibly. But maybe not. I don't know. It really depends on whether I can get the food situation um, handled. Because uh, the heat temperature is getting its getting too hot in the space. Um, I've placed a couple of weasel warts down and I'm hoping that the, the radiation won't fuck me over. I mean, I don't think it will, so... But we'll see. We'll see. Temperature is going down slightly. Forty degrees is pretty fucking hot. I'm surprised these guys aren't stressed. 
Converge. Yeah, of course. make this a top priority because I want to get this oh fuck and, and this too I need to get rid of these uh, deconstruct 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 go this I mean um uh, oh that uh, build this uh perhaps maybe not so soon not so soon I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, did I speak to you about Victoria 3 before? Like, do, uh, have you been paying attention to the Victoria 3 Death Diaries? I don't know, it's just something to talk about while I'm playing this. Because uh, that's a lot of lot of waiting. Uh, let's see, destroy this, destroy this as well. Uh, okay. I'm going to set this to top priority, and then I'm going to move to a brewery with top priority as well. Move to a brewery. read a few of the dev diaries yeah uh the, the new one is is pretty interesting they've uh, um come out with um um uh with a dev diary on money oh yeah three definitely no i mean like out of all the games that have come out with victoria 3 is probably the one i'm most excited for mainly because um I'd say its emphasis on economy is probably what, what interests me the most. Coming from uh, in my experience with, uh, um, uh, what's the game called? Uh, Imperator Rome, which is an economy simulator. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like literally the only game where playing Toll is a viable option from a strategic point of view. Yeah, it's pretty great. I'd I'd say it's kind of like a bit more like Anno, like in in terms of like its its focus in its economic focus. I don't know if you, uh, I've, I've never played Anno before though. I could say that's this is saying saying it as someone who's never played Anno, but like from what I've seen of Anno, it kind of has that like feel to it. And 
And I know that Anno is coming out with a board game as well that's being um, developed by uh, the guy who does, um, who makes Brass, which is also a very like ec economic focused board game. So I feel like that's probably like, yeah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Pretty disappointed with Paradox. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. A lot of people have been disappointed. <laughs> I'm, yeah, definitely. No, I, I mean, I agree. And also, like, stuff with, the, like, Europa de Versailles 4 as well, that, that's been a bit of a, um, well, I guess a massive, massive, uh, uh, I'm trying to find the way to put it. Pacific Island DLC, yeah. Is it Pacific Island? I don't know. Maybe it is. Oh, I think that, yeah, yeah, it probably was. Uh, it was like a, a, a bit of everything, like East, East, East Asia DLC, we call it. Because I think they, 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 they did bits that made changes to like I oh, fuck I don't know I don't know what they're called those those nations in East Asia because I, I never play them <laughs> trying to trying to think of the what they're called uh, are these reachable these are reachable right okay they are reachable good I am so close. You've never played anyone outside of Europe. I play, um, I think I play only in three continents. So I play Europe for the most part, but I also play Africa and um, the Americas because the Aztecs are pretty, pretty fun to play. Just playing as any like feudal society, it's fun because like trying to like catch up to uh, uh, to Europe in terms of tech oh my god I think this is the final the final piece we are like one step away one step away from being able to use this uh, petroleum baller uh, I'm excited to say the least oh my god uh, so we're gonna get this this, this window tile here and this is uh, step number nine. I don't know, uh, e E4 really, I mean like, it isn't, it, I've got maybe what, 2,000 hours in the game, which is actually not my my most played game, but I think most, most of those hours uh, are from back in like 9.1, which was like six years ago. <laughs> I think, no, less than that, maybe more like four years ago, but like, I, I haven't really played much of E4 um, recently. Uh, I'd say CK, Crusader Kings is probably the game that I've played the most out of all the uh, Paradox games, by far. Um, and in my opinion, is a, it's a better crafted game than your Open of Asylus 4. It has much more potential than European of Asylus 4. Um, I think just because of how it's developed and because uh, of its uh, modability, it's... Uh, oh, yes, CK, it's, it's so good. I, I would say I'm a little disappointed disappointed, but also I understand like this is a this is, this is a, a, an RPG focused game, but I, I don't like the fact that they haven't like added any um, like other government types um, in CK3 uh, I actually kind of liked uh, I mean, well I say I kind of like playing Merchant Republic's I like the idea of playing Merchant Republics in CK. I don't think they were implemented as well um, in CK2, mainly because trade was shit. But they have 
a new game, a new engine. And you could kind of argue that they're starting from scratch in terms of what, what could be made out of these merchant republics. So they, my hope is that they do add a proper trade system in CK3, and along with that, an actual proper... Um, uh, this is it. An actual proper um, merchant republic system, right? Or even not even just a re merchant republic. You, I think I think there's a lot of potential for potential like for playing actual republics, not just like merchant focused republics like Novigrod. Um, that'd be nice. That'd be cool. Uh, or even like, um, because in, in CK2, I haven't played CK3 because it was missing much compared to CK2. Definitely, definitely. I agree. Okay, we're preheating here. Once, once it reaches, um, oh, I didn't set this up. Fuck, what? i got to check this. It's um, above 403 degrees Celsius. 403. And then I'll copy the settings here. Just make sure. So essentially, um, this creates a vacuum when it's open. And when it's closed, it, it is a highly conductive material for this window tile. So, hopefully, this heat will transfer. Uh, it, it is, it's probably going to take a while to ha happen. Um, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably a good idea. It's a bit late now, actually. I, I want to... Oh, no, no, no. I don't, I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't think the heat is transferring to the ladders. Because it has more at launch than CK2 did. Oh, so, so much more. Because remember, CK, CK2, the last DLC, Holy Fury, um, was the one that added, um, like, customizable religions. I think CK3, and I, I, you could argue that CK, like, a Holy Fury was the best DLC because of that. And I'd, I'd argue that the mechanics in CK3 for religions are pretty cool as well. Um, actually even more developed than, than Holy Fury's um, uh, uh, religious customization ability because like you can you can you can make heresies as well where well, you couldn't in CK2 you had to you had to be a pagan in order to to reform your religion actually you can probably uh, you, can, you can make the case that pagans in CK3 are worse than CK2 because of that, they're not as unique <laughs> in that regard. Well, I mean, no, that's that's a lie. They are just as unique because you have, um, uh, you still have like unique mechanics. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think you could make that argument. Um, I think Muslims Muslims are probably more unique in that sense. Because they have um, different modifiers, different dogmas, um, and I'd have to see the other religions as well. Maybe the Eastern pagan religions are different in some way or another. Let's see. What are we on? We are on. Uh, Perhaps. Oh no, I want to. I want to get rid of these and this. Um, at this alignment, I think I might break this so we can get some more heat transfer. It, it, it'll probably be a, uh, a bit faster if I if I do that. So we're going to get rid of this bit of light, and then we're going to break this. The good thing is this is a vacuum, so um, there won't be any heat transfer.
Okay, now we're going to go and dig this. Top priority, dig it out now. Go. Uh, and perhaps we can dig three downs, I mean, um, build three downs. So we're going to build a window tile here. Maybe, maybe that'll, um, there'll be more, more heat transfer because there's more tiles, adjacent tiles connected to the spike. That's the hope. This is reachable. It is reachable. So we shouldn't have too much of an issue. We're going to actually probably make this top priority as well. A lot of flooding here. No flooding here. Oh, I see what the problem is. The gas pump is uh, copper. I'm surprised this guy isn't scalding. Come on, people. All right, this is this is pretty good. So this there's not not as much um, like cooling as I was expecting. I'm all it is slightly cooling, but the the magma is maintaining a high temperature. Um, nice. I'm going to sweep all this diamond. Uh, let's see. I guess it was a lot more uh, at launch than CK2 did. When CK2 first came out, you couldn't play as not Christians. Oh, I've already read that. Yeah. Oh, oh, transfer is happening faster. Oh, you see this? Oh, look at this heat. Alright, once the door opens, we're going to start, um... Hold on. Is the, the temp shift play, it's getting hot. Yeah. Okay, no, I'm going to... Okay, no, I see what the problem is. I should already be putting, putting oil in, so let's, that's what we're going to do here. Too hot. I'm just gonna open the door so it doesn't. Uh, we don't get as much heat transfer. Here's what we're going to do now. Um, I am going to start building piping um, to this um, insulated area. I'm going to add more insulated tiles as well. Priority man. All right. Uh, we're going to insulate these tiles. I'm going to go like this. Bam. How far down is it? We're gonna go up. Um, like this. Okay, B and split by the way, that way, go. Priority nine, go. Build, build, build! I should have done this before. Okay, we're going to stop putting oil into here. It's getting too cold. It's not heat and faced enough. Alright. Uh, 
You see, this is getting cold in here because the heat's transferring to the, uh, to the window tile. But it's a good thing. Good thing I started on this um, this pipe now. I didn't realize there was um, polluted water in here. I don't know where that came from. Actually, I do know where that came from. It came from up here. We're getting a liquid um, vent over pressure. Oh, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Ah, uh, wish was wish wish there was, was um, heating faster. Maybe there's a way to, to increase it. Like building a temp shift plate up here. More temp shift plates. Oh fuck, I, I didn't look at the um, duplicates. Yeah, really, actually, yeah, if you think about it, like, really, the only people that you can't play in CK3 are Republics. 
I don't think there are any other government types apart from that. Oh yes, and you can't play as China. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that they could do. They could add China, um, which they didn't really do in CK2. Oh yeah, and you can't play as the Aztecs as well. <laughs> It was disappointing to see. No Aztecs. No, no, Huatl. I want my Nahuatl playability. Oh my god, look at that! Petroleum. Holy shit. I've got some fucking petroleum. So what's the freezing point? The freezing point is 57.1 degrees Celsius, so it's not as much as I thought it was. Letting players play as China would be a lot of work because they didn't uh, use European feudalism. Paradox is lazy, so they won't do it. Uh, it's, uh, it's possible. It's possible. This is perfect. We just have to ensure that we don't. We need. We need. We need to get this pump like out and ready. Uh, pumping into the petroleum uh, reservoir quick. Uh, the last Chinese court eunuch died in 1902. Uh, that's to be expected. I mean, because because uh, Qing China was uh, around. I don't know if they used Unix in Manchuria, so maybe that counts. Uh, but if, if, if that's the case, then yeah, 992 is not not ridiculous. Is this is this a Unix? Yeah, he moved to Manchuria. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Uh, but he w was a Unix before, right? So he died like at a hundred or whatever. <laughs> Let's see, I might slow this down. Yeah, let's slow this down. It's cooling it too much. Well, it's tradition for court eunuchs to carry their preserved testicles in the back with it, really. And they were buried with them, so they are oh, right. Sounds like something the Egyptians would do. But during Mao's Cultural Revolution, he told everyone to get rid of vestiges from. Oh, he lost his testicles! <laughs> Uh <laughs> for a second time. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> the family of the Yudik were afraid they would uh, get in trouble, so they stole them and threw them away. Oh shit. Yeah, that's fucked up. Well, not really fucked up, I don't really... Last time I did this system, 
uh, I produced sour gas. So I think my goal right now is to try and get the system to work so that it doesn't produce sour gas. Because I don't need sour gas. Sour gas is kind of useless at this current moment. I have no use for methane because methane methane is a useless byproduct. But and and I have lots of sulfur because uh, I'm producing sulfur using uh, this liquid sulfur geyser. work a little faster. Oh, maybe maybe it's not working as fast because of this. Is there a way to prepare the magma and explore beneath? Yes, there is, but all it is is extra space. Like this, no, like this is as far as it goes. There's a, like this neutronium at the bottom. So it's better off just using the magma. I mean, eventually the magma, if you use it as like a heater for let's say petroleum boilers, like I am doing now, uh, you are going to run out of magma eventually because the magma cools down because of the heat transfer. But uh, that takes a very long time. You need a lot, a lot of petroleum boilers and a lot of heat transfer. So... Probably not. Uh... Just gonna have a look at this petroleum here. I, I wish I could get rid of this polluted water. It's kind of annoying actually. I'm actually considering building a second petroleum boiler around here. Possibly. Uh, if I could get rid of this water. Uh, there's also other oil wells as well to exploit. So I've got three oil wells. Uh, we could get a lot of petroleum boilers running at the same time, possibly. I want to get the dimensions of the boiler itself. We can count this as part of the dimensions, so it's 255 tiles. Uh, 255 tiles, uh, what, what is this? It's a 15 by 17. So I'm going to get 15 by 17. Yeah, so I could like get it beneath this. I don't need this much space. I think I, I uh, overestimated how much space I'd be needing. Uh, 
I think all I need is two. Distance between uh, the inner layer and the outer layer. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do, I think, this, uh, next time. Maybe right now, either. Yeah. Oh man, we got this close. We're gonna do a tiny bit here. Four oh three. Let's get a bit more here. And then stop. Just a bit more. Stop. And now we're getting more petroleum. In fact, we're gonna We've got to keep this closed so we can get more heat transfer. And then go. Thinking maybe I should have made this out of gold. Trolley boiler is working. Perfect. It's working perfectly. Too much pressure. Slow it down. I'll open this up.
wondering what is the overheat property? A melting point is 2426 for the temp steel plate. I'm thinking it might be a good idea to build some more temp steel plates. Uh, just as, as an example, let me build one here to produce, to increase the amount of uh, heat being produced. There we go, and then we'll add some more. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, let's get some uh, temp, uh, temp shift. Yep. Because it won't melt. It's got to be, uh, it's, what's it, 2000 degrees or whatever. Insufficient resources. We need more gold. Uh, let's have a look at this. This guy, these guys. Increased bladder, cannot do digging. Uh, so this one is the perfect candidate. Lara. And the good thing is, they can't actually make it past here. So the only people who can do exosuit related stuff are people who have experience with exosuits. Uh, Lara cannot move there. I think. If there's a way to get them to train with uh, exosuits, uh, i.e. getting them to use manual generators, that would be great. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Lara, give her the priority of operating uh, the machines. Uh, we're also going to reduce the priority on people who don't have uh, the need to do that. I also think there's probably a good way to, to, to encourage that. Maybe if I could, like, set the lights up to the manual generator. It doesn't require too much power, so she's not going to do it all the time, but she's going to do it enough to, to increase her athletic skill. This is the perfect amount of oil. Always reducing enough gold. That's nice. This is perfect. A perfect range of temperatures. Now, if we could uh, look at this, I think we're going to have to go and build a steel liquid pump here. Now, I'm going to use this petroleum uh, that I'm accumulating up here. And I'm going to hook it up to this Aquatuda setup. I'm going to look at this petroleum here. So the freeze point is 57 degrees, so we want to get it to 50, minus 50 degrees. Uh, maybe minus 45 degrees. So I've got to copy the settings. Uh, 
uh, I'm gonna have a look at power here as well. So before I do all that, I want to uh, set up uh, these power lines as well. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? It's not enough space, that's the problem. Oh no, there is enough space. If I destroy these two... We can get a line hooked up. We just have to replace this tile, unfortunately. Maybe not. Maybe that can work, I don't know. I don't know if I can know. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't risk it. I've built too many wires. Okay, temporarily, we're gonna put a heavy watt here. Line set up as well. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, so this goes into here. That goes out. I'm going to deconstruct these lines, because I, I don't like this. I don't like that either. Come on, get out. Get rid of that. Uh, this is going to go out... Uh, stop breaking this. Break this. We're going to get... A liquid line out here. Destroy that. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's got to get hooked up to the petroleum, and the petroleum uh, this thing. Is gonna hook itself up to here, here. this as well. Some steam here. I just realized. Uh, that's another thing we want to do. I want to put some uh, steam in this system. So 
maybe if I can the liquid bridge to here. Liquid bridge with uh, liquid shut off. Uh, world of automation switch into this. I don't know why I'm making it out of steel. Oh, I do know why I'm making it out of steel now, actually. But I don't want to make it out of steel. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make it out of cobalt because that's a uh, a readily available resource. Uh, and then the plan is to, to hook it up to this. But of course I don't I don't want it on all the time, uh, which is why we have the uh, signal switch uh, connected to a, a liquid shut off. I'm gonna look at this, 4100 uh, Average. I wish it was like an average load for this rather than the current load. Potential load. Cobalts. Let's have a look at the oil, petroleum boiler. It's too much oil. Stop, stop, stop. And I'm having a look at my gold supply as well. We don't have enough gold. Okay, what is going on here? Something happened to my did I did I fuck up output flow? What the fuck? How? Why? Where is it going? Fuck. Oh I did! I destroyed the output. Uh, fuck in there. Alright, that was my fault. So, the outflow, I think, is going... Just to, just to make sure this is this is it, it's going this way. Uh, and that's going that way as well. Fuck. Okay. Output the liquid bridge this way. Go down. Uh, oh, this is a fucking mess. Oh no, this is good. This is good. Oh, this works. I think that's a top priority because the toilets are out of order until until this gets ready. So fuck.
hope this works. Yeah, it should work because the only the only flow direction is this way, and the flow is going into the filtration system. And it works. Nice. I've got to get rid of this water somehow, though. Fuck. Oh shit, I know what to do. I know how to fix this issue. Alright, so I'm going to get automation here. Uh, we're going to go Hydro Sensor. Uh, I'm just going to put it here. It's a good place as any. So, we'll get this Hydra sensor. Uh, gotta get a liquid vent out here. I've gotta put a. Uh, let's see. A knot gate. Find the knot gate. Uh, I think up here. So. Like that. So, if I could get my logic correct here, uh, if all right, if if the water pressure is more above zero in this area, then we will not have this open. However, if it is above, then we'll have this open. Something like that. It really doesn't matter, because we can reverse the logic in the system. Like, really, the only thing that matters is is that we have a uh, hydro sensor here. You can reverse the logic if um, you can go above or zero, uh, uh, above or below zero, whatever. And, and it'll work the same way. But as long as one has a knot gate and one doesn't have a knot gate, it'll work. Logic. I mean, I mean I'm, not, I'm not being ironic here. That's logic. It works. <laughs> I don't trust this system. I trust this one, so I might be able to reroute. Oh, nice. There is already a conductive wire going down this way, so we're going to go and get some conductive wire from this network. If I can get copper, I can. Nice. Uh, and we will route that into there. Good thing I made this out of steel, because the petroleum is going to get really hot. Sometimes. Oh, it's too hot. Too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot. Oh, that is bad. Oh, that is really bad. How is this getting hot? Like, what's, what's transferring heat to this? How the fuck did he get there? 
I am so confused. What the fuck? What? Oh, I think I know what happened. Just because maybe maybe this was encased or, or flooded. That's just very weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Uh, you move back there. Put on a fucking suit. There we go. That's more like it. Actually, I'm not sure if, like, I really answered your question. You asked if I could pump out the magma. I don't think you can pump out magma. I think it's too hot. You can't find any liquid pumps that are um, that have an overheating um, threshold uh, higher than magma. It's 1,597 degrees. So I think the highest you can get is 350 with a liquid pump. So I know. But the only way to get rid of the magma is to either um, sp splash lots of water under here, um, here and and um, produce steam and, and, of course, cool this down to a point where it can freeze solid. Or, uh, like I mentioned, just uh, get some diamond and, and cool this down by transferring heat from the magma to something else like this. Okay. That is so fucking weird. It's just... It's overheating too much. I'm gonna destroy this. I'm gonna destroy this one as well. I'm gonna make this a priority. And this is gonna... Hopefully... I'm still confused as to what's... Maybe because there hasn't been any, um... Oh, I don't know. I, I can't actually... I can't actually guess as to what's doing it. Fuck, and there's crude oil here as well. Still got a yellow alert. Maybe I should get some uh, steel and use that instead. I can find it. Steel temp shift. Like, maybe B. Where is that steel? This is steel, I think.
put one here actually. And put one here. Actually make make this top priority. Make this a top priority as well. Ooh. And I think I'm gonna break the abyss a lot as well, but I don't know, maybe not. Because I don't think this um this transfers heat really. So it's melting point, it's 2426 degrees. So it should be able to survive under this magma, hopefully. Yeah, you see, and it's, it's uh, really very quickly producing. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe the maybe the temp shift plates are actually making it slower. So slow. Might not have been a good idea actually, because this has higher heat conductivity. And what's the heat conductivity here? Yeah, 60 parts gold. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, I don't know. I 
feel like it's slowing it down, so I'm gonna destroy. Fuck. Uh, I think I wasted some, some steel here. Maybe maybe it's because of um, how many. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. heating up pretty quick too
we're gonna let it let it heat itself up for a bit. Maybe that's the problem that I had before. <gasps> Fuck! Oh! Look at all this fucking hydrogen, Jesus! Stop. Now what we're gonna do is get a fucking ah oh, Jesus. We're gonna get a, a gas pump here. Fucking filter all this gas out. Get it up to this one as well. Is full. Why? Ah, uh, because of this. Ah, oh, that's why. Fuck priorities. I'm gonna set this to top priority. Too much hydrogen in the base. I'm gonna go vent this out.
much plastic do we have? Six tons. Six tons. Might actually... Might actually be close. I'm gonna keep, um... Keep this like this. Um... And destroy these ladders, actually. You know what? I'll do that. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. And it's all set to priority 9. So we'll have 2.7 tons left. I think I'd, I'd only need about 4 tons total to, to get this um, transit chip network ready. Why does he have a, a minor eye irritation? How did that work? I guess maybe it's from this hydrogen. Alright, so I fixed the issue. That's good. meant by the logic. You can flip the logic so that one or the other is open. Um, and right now, uh, the logic is if if the, the ambient pressure, water pressure, reaches above zero, which means if the water reaches this layer, this horizontal layer here, then I will have to... Um, outsource my water to this liquid vent, which is outside the base. Actually, not sure. Oh, the bottle empty. All right. Um, I don't need that at top yellow priority right now um, because I've already um, done the, the liquid lock. I think we're at a point now because we've almost completely um, vented the gases um, from this room, so I'm, I'm going to seal it up. Yeah, sick. In fact, before that, I'm going to destroy the... I'm going to dismantle the, the gas dump. The gas dump, the gas pump. And, um... Sweep all the materials from this room. And, uh... 
which actually reminds me, I probably want to want to build a, a storage bin. We're gonna actually set that to top priority. This is very close to completely venting itself. Set it to nine priority. I'm gonna actually, because I've already pretty much cleared all of this. I, I don't I don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and re remove all the elements from the filter. Vacuum is three seconds to go. There we go, nice. Now we're gonna break this. We're gonna have a look at this and deconstruct everything. Yeah, we've got nine priority, nice. Perhaps I should top priority that shit too. It's fine. I got lots of food, so the farmer shouldn't. Um, uh, and plus, actually, I'm, I'm, my, my food situation is actually pretty bad because uh, the the temperature for my base is actually reaching um, <laughs> above forty degrees on average. But I think it's it's cooling down very slowly. But um, yeah, I did leave this for too long. I was originally, I think. I think it was about like 50 degrees Celsius before I started to realize, oh shit, yeah, maybe I should um, put some wheeze warts down. <laughs> Alright. We're going to build some... Um... Oh, we're going to top priority this. We're going to build an insulated tile in here as well. I don't, I don't use, um, I actually really don't use top priority all that much, but I, I use top priority when I absolutely want something done now. 
when when nine priority is going to be too slow. Um, and to be fair, I don't actually have many things going on right now. Um, so top priority isn't actually like it's it's not going to screw me over or anything like that. It just but but I like the expedition that you get from top priority. So um, yeah. Anyways. Um, um, yeah, let's... I think... I think, I think, I think I need... I need a liquid shuttle fee. Because otherwise it might it might fill up too quickly, so we're gonna go and get ourselves uh, an automation wire. Signal switch that shit. And I think I'm gonna I'm also going to um gonna destroy this. Top priority of that shit. golden album as well while I'm at it, just to test the system. Unfortunately, my petroleum is at 50 degrees, so this is not really... Isn't the water in the little chamber going to boil and heat the environment? Yes, it is. You're talking about this chamber? It is. My plan is eventually, if I can get the um, petroleum to cool down, Fast enough, um, actually, here, if I could um, reroute this. My plan is eventually, oops, there's going to be to, no, next to the steam room. Which steam room? Are you talking about, talking about this? Um, oh, this little chamber. No, I understand what you mean. Um, possibly? I have no idea. I have no idea. If it does, then I can I can fix it. It's not really too much of an issue. Um, I don't, I don't mind mind uh, the immediate environment being being heated, but uh, I mean it can be a bit of a problem if like. Let's say it reduces the heat inside this room and, and reduces the amount of steam that I'm, I'm going to be able to to um, uh, generate power with. Um, so that, that that might be an issue, but it's not really not my my immediate concern. I just want to get this thing working. Um, Pipes here uh, from when I was um, using this um, anti entropy nullifier thing here.
just gonna uh, I've got to get my logic here so actually I want I want the the temperature in the pipes to have an ambient to have a temperature of less than zero degrees Celsius potentially um, so if it isn't if it isn't um, that then I want the petroleum to reroute itself to here. Actually, I just realized, so this is actually really hot now. We're gonna... Oops. I'm gonna start uh, pumping some of that uh, crude oil so we can get this petroleum boiler working. Fortunately, we do have some crude oil in here, but that's that's not too much of an issue. Whatever. Um, eventually, it's gonna find its way, and, and it's probably it might it might fuck up my aquatuna setup a little because I have the aquatuna set up to to cool down petroleum, not uh, crude oil, and crude oil has a freezing freezing temperature of um, minus thirty as opposed to minus fifty degrees. But whatever. Anyways, it, it doesn't matter too much. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have the thing here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. What am I doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It has to be here. So, uh, if I can get this right, we're going to get a liquid shut off like this. No, nope, not like that. Like... This. Oops, fuck, where are you? Nope. Liquid shut off. Turn it around. So, and and then it's gonna rewrap itself into here. Or I might have a separate oh, I might be even better to have a separate supply because I might have a constant stream of um uh, petroleum. So what I want to do is have a liquid shut off here, connected to a uh, liquid thermo sensor. Um, if temperature is not cold enough, it will reroute itself into here. Otherwise, if it is cold enough, it will go into here and cool down um, my water, which will eventually cool down this base. Hopefully, because the water is 50 degrees Celsius. I mean, holy fucking shit. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, and it's also it's also just good to have to have the system here. Like even if even if the uh, the liquid shaft isn't available um, to be put through here, right? Um, at least I'm getting cold petroleum to cool this down. And at least my aqua tuners are actually going to be working. Um, so, yeah. How much plastic do I have? I have 2,800 kilograms of plastic. I'm going to fill out the rest of this transit tube network. If I can. So that uses... Oh, that used actually a significant amount of plastic. I don't think I have enough plastic to, um, to make it all the way up here. Like I said, I estimated about maybe 4,000 to 5,000 kilograms um, worth of stuff. Stop. 
stop, 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 stop. I feel like the system could be improved upon. Like I don't, I don't like the fact that I'm using um, a a manual signal switch for this, because I'm not going to be paying attention to my petroleum boiler all that much. So I think the solution is to reroute um, an automated wire down here and try and get it set up. Um, so that this activates um, this activates when the thermo sensors acti activate god damn but I have to the problem is I have to reroute it's going to be a longer longer act not really not really a problem I've, I've got so much refined metals I don't know why I'm being conservative with uh, with fucking like automation wire <laughs> so um, yeah There's something to consider. I'm gonna open this up because um, it actually it actually heats up faster if you if you keep it open. Uh, I don't know I don't know why, but I guess I guess because um, the mechanized airlock takes up a lot of heat. Maybe not. I don't know. Whatever it is, it, it seems to it seems to be the case. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. I'll think about automating it later, but the, the main my main focus right now is trying to get this Aquachina working and its um, um, adjacent systems. Pipe is blocked. Oh right, of course. Now what am I saying? Why is it being damaged? I don't understand what the fuck is going on. <sighs> oh, I am running out of food. I actually am. What the fuck? I might have to, um... Oh, I don't know what I have to do. I'm going to replace some of these plants with, um, with my radiation buddies. I'm going to set this to top priority as well. So this just needs to be done now. I've got to save my bristle blossoms. In fact, we're gonna break this. I'm actually curious. Yeah, so that might be might be an issue. Oh, it's uh, it's a normal water. No, I, this this is the polluted water one. All right, that's that's not as much of an issue. But I'm gonna break these two because uh, they don't actually need to take in um, water. Um, I only need to take in a phosphorite, so it's going to be a waste. There's not much left for this, for this system. Okay, fuck. Alright, come on. Let's see. 
Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Come on. What's he doing? He's fucking he's walking into this like highly radioactive area. What a fucking moron. What are you doing? Stop idling there. Alright, once they once they get their phosphorus, we'll set it to, to level nine. Because phosphorus is fairly easy to to grab. Cut on people! this because this is um, higher up and it's going to take longer to produce um, and we want as many people to, to, to build the stuff as, as we can. What the fuck are you doing there? God damn it! What the fuck? Right. Oh fuck and it's off gassing as well. Shit. We're going to have to Ah, get rid of this liquid. We'll get the uh, minions to do it. The um, the uh, non-specific, non-specialized civilians. Right now, I'll get. So this is top priority. Go. There's a lot of igneous rock here, I think. Oh, it's Mafic. Oh, have I gotten rid of all the, the igneous rock from up here? Maybe, maybe that's what's happened. Hmm. Nice. At least he's made a mess outside the base. God fucking damn it. Ah! What's going on with this out output pipe? Why? So confused. Why, why did it refuse to output up here? Is there any particular reason? Maybe I need to put a bridge here. Oh fuck! I don't fucking know. Oh power! Power is the issue. Ah, uh, got you. I uh, got you. Oh, whatever. I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind the water going out here because actually, this is a. This is really hot. I want to cool this down. Um.
How is this water getting getting into into the supply? Like what the fuck? What is going on? How is the petroleum? What the fuck? Oh, okay, no, I see. I can see see why the <sighs> Is it because water is 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 getting into his from from up here. Is that what's happening? It shouldn't be. Yes. What the fuck? Yeah, no, thanks. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, thanks for the follow. Okay. This connects into here, blah, blah, blah. This connects out into here. This. Um. Bam, 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 bam. I guess it's because this, this, this thing isn't connected. I think I understand now. Um. Do I not have? Connection to here. I think I do. Um, oh, fuck. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't actually, I don't know if this is. We'll just. Do it anyways. Fuck it. This is this is. Uh, I'm just trying to trying to get the system to work in some way or another. Once I get more gold, I can just like fill this entire water room full of radiant pipes. Am I seriously having issues with power here? What is this connected to, anyways? Oh, maybe I should um. I should get some more um, natural gas generators. That'll that'll solve my issues. Zero degrees for now. I don't know why this isn't flowing into into here because I've, I've got an, a like um, a very obvious source for them to go to. Mm. Let's set this to top priority because otherwise it's just not. Fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why my uh, system isn't flowing, but. 
here. Whatever. Why isn't this flying? What the fuck? I'm trying to wrap my head around this. This is an input, this is an output, this is an input, output, input, output. And output, we've got two outputs. We've got the liquid vent and the liquid vent. So, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck, game? Too bad. I don't mind the cold um, damage so much, I and mean, I can fix this so easily. Yeah. 
Okay, I'm just gonna look at my petroleum again and just see what the temperature is for minus 45 degrees. Let's go minus 30 degrees because I think I'm getting cold damage with um, with the petroleum as well. It's not just the water. So go minus 30 degrees. It's kind of working. Kind of working well. I mean, as long as like, I can get this fucking water out. Oh, the petroleum boil. I don't know why there's water here, but there is. But eventually, eventually that's going to solve itself. Petroleum is too hot. What? What is going on? I see what the problem is. Oh, that was dumb. Because I, I didn't actually connect this to this. I connected this to this, but I don't, I don't even know how that even happened. Like, and it's kind of annoying that you can't actually see the pipes. I need to add like an extra fucking layer to this. Um, 
We're getting the element sensor. That is so fucking dumb. That will put the, the element sensor in the right place. Uh, maybe it's because of the steam. I think, I think there might be steam somewhere. That's um, condensing here. into here because it's gonna probably be I'm gonna set this up high priority as well because I can't fucking I can't wait. I can't wait to be done with my water issues water water petroleum issues. Phosphorus, nice. Jesus fucking Christ. What the fuck? Alright, come on people. Come on, get get these get these things working. looking for a uh, petroleum. Alright, and we're gonna we're gonna deconstruct this. Shit. Okay, so why why is this why is this putting petroleum here? Fucking fuck fuck. I'm gonna have to deconstruct all these fucking pipes too. Yeah, 
if this ah oh, fucking Stop, stop. So we're gonna deactivate this. I'll be right back. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, so the most annoying thing, I don't even know how this happened, um, but I think well, what happened was that there was not enough, I guess I do know how this happened because the Aquatuna, uh, Aquatuna um, petroleum is being backed up, so because it got backed up, all the petroleum that couldn't make it through this pipe went, went through this pipe, which is really fucking annoying. Um, I'm gonna stop this because obviously the petroleum now is finding its way back. But now I'm gonna have to fucking. <sighs> so I'm. St I am still going to have the petroleum go up here. I mean, sorry, liquids go up here. But I, I need a fucking. I need a second. Um, liquid shut off. I, sh I shouldn't be doing this because there should be water in this fucking petroleum tank, but there is. I don't, I don't know how, but there is. So, um, yeah. We'll get a second fucking sensor. Fucking bullshit. I shouldn't have to do this. If it is petroleum, bam, go into into here, uh, like that, and then everything else goes up here again. And we're gonna need power for this, so we're gonna reroute or oh, route whatever power from there. Frustrating this aqua chain loop. It's just it's so, so, the problem is I need you know to really test it. I need the uh, the metal refinery, but the metal refinery takes a very long time to to heat itself up. So like testing the aqua tuna and getting everything just right, it just takes so long. And, and, and like having one mistake in in the process really fucks it up.
Like this, for example. Like, it, yeah. Fucking bullshit. Oh, and now I've got power issues. Like, seriously. What the fuck? I'm gonna reroute this to a more secure line. So we're gonna go conductive wire up here. Petroleum. There we go. Oh, stupid. A stupid, stupid machine. Uh, that's to be expected. Um, this is gonna reroute itself to here, and I'll destroy this once once it's done. Fuck! Fucking fuck! Fucking fuck! 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 No, this is a fucking bigger mess than your fucking bullshit. Is heating it up. It's this. Is this actually working? Like, am I fucking? Am I cooling this shit down or what? No. What the fuck? Oh no, power. Right. So that's an issue. I'm not getting any power up here. I'm getting power here, but not. So I need a I need a separate pump. Ah, oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna make a gas bridge here. It really doesn't matter because I, I want to force the flow of this gas to go up. So something like this, and then we'll get power, uh, just to make sure. Power from up here, F9, and we're going to go, bam, like that.
rocket now. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, um, now we're gonna break this. So it doesn't go down. We want it to go up. destroy the gas bridge, we just want to destroy the gas pipe. Which isn't being destroyed because what the fuck? We're gonna make this a priority nine instead of a priority ten. Ah oh, come on. Thank you. should be getting a more solid flow of natural gases. Hopefully. not cooling down. This is not cooling down, what the fuck? Is it because of the pipes? Maybe the pipes are doing it. This is kind of cooling down, I guess. I don't know, am I... Maybe it's a power issue. It has to be a power issue. Someone die. How did they stop you fucking moron? How the fuck did you do you starve to death? What the fuck? How do you starve to death? I have food, you fucking moron. I have a colony of idiots. Jesus fucking Christ. My brain hurts. I have to deal with the fact that my aqua tuners are not cooling anything down. They, they aren't they aren't having any like over overheating issues or anything like that. Maybe it might be the pipes that are because they're not um fully repaired. Maybe maybe they're not um, working as intended as a result. But my, my cooling loop is not cooling. How?
Oh, right, the, the fucking moron just died then. Uh, right. I don't know how he died, but he seems to be starving. I just, I need to figure that fucking shit out. And while I'm at it, I need to plant more, um, I need to plant more, um, uh, more farms. I don't fucking know. Like, I'm, I'm getting a headache, like an actual headache from this game. Nima and Nisbet. Maybe I shouldn't be doing um, yellow alert. Just trying to figure this out. Why are they starving? We have food, you fucking retards. Making fertilization issues. Why? Like, tell me, why do I have fertilization issues with my fucking plants? Okay, we're gonna have Travaldo here set. He's gonna be my farmer now. Because my, my other farmer, uh, or the guy that I set to prioritize farming, is not fucking farming! So... Trevaldo, that's your responsibility. Fucking farm. You asshole. Farm away! Where are you, Trevaldo? What are you doing? Now, what are you, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Seriously, like. Right, you're picking up granite. Why are you picking up granite? Right. Cool. Do you have other priorities? You shouldn't. Have other priorities. Oh fuck! All right, know what is? I know what the problem is because he didn't have a skill. That's my fault. Um, farming, farming, crop tending. There we go. Nice. No, he doesn't even need. He doesn't need the skill. So why? Why does he? Do he not have dirt? Okay, let's have a look for dirt. Oh, I see what the issue is. I think we don't have any dirt here. It's ridiculous. Culture. Okay, cultivable soils. We're gonna put this at priority nine. Let's have a look. Yeah, no, why are they starving? I've got lots of food that they can actually eat. We're gonna have a look at consumables. Yeah, pickled meal. We've got pickled meal. And they're starving! <laughs> are they stupid? Or what?
So is she gonna eat? Or is she gonna be stupid? Okay, I see. They, they choose stupid. Right. Okay. That's good to know. Where can these, these normal dracos here? We don't need them. You fucking retard. Wow. You are so dumb. Okay. It must be the top priority that's fucking me over. It has to be. Uh, Yeah, no, it was the top priority. I think I was I was I was abusing that too much. We definitely need to get some more farms out now. Farms. Why are they stressed? Why are they stressed? Why are they stressed? It's all back. Oh, god damn it. This is why I need. Oh, fuck, you know what? I have the petroleum. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get this uh, polymer press, finally. I'm gonna start producing. Does how much power does he use? Power intake is 240 watts, uh, 240, uh, 480, 720. Uh, 720 watts. So we all we, all we need is one. 
one natural gas generator. Thank you. 
got dead. So what's going on here? Why aren't these? Is the automation? Why isn't this working? Seriously. Understand. So this is not connected to any other automation grid. This should be on. The green light should be on. Oh my god. Ugh. Fucking hell. I I don't understand this. This is really starting to. Hurt. I I can't I can't fucking. I've been dealing with three hours with this shit, right? It's fucking automation! It does not work! <sighs> why? Why doesn't it work? I don't... <laughs> it's, it's, no, there's no like clear reason why it doesn't work. The parameters are fulfilled. There should be a green light, and yet there isn't. Right now, I'm not going to get any um, any natural gases because my power network is crippled by the fact that I, I didn't fucking foresee that this would fill up with lots of water. I, I don't know why I didn't, but I didn't. And it's filled up with water, and now I'm fucked, so... Yeah, that was stupid. It's fucking... Why are they stressed? 
sopping wet. Where, where is it? Where is it fucking wet? Where? Like, like, and like, and where, where did these people go? Oh, you, I, they fucking thudded off you. Fucking retards. Ugh. This too here, because they keep vomiting here. This too, gotta clean this up. Oh my god. This is, uh... Jesus. I don't know what they're doing at this current moment. Like why? What? What? What are they doing that's more important than than what I'm setting at priority nine? I've set like pretty much everything that I need done to priority nine. Maybe I need to just like set everything else like inside the base to priority five. Maybe they'll start doing things. I don't know. I don't know if they've got too many responsibilities. Um. How, how they get so stressed out when there's just a bit of liquid on the floor. It's so dumb. Everything happens so slowly in this game. It's so bad. This is, this is why I need the, the plastic quickly, right? Because I, I I need I need these transit tubes so I can solve these issues quickly. But no, it's it's not happening fast enough, and that fucking screws me over. Now it's going to take like, I don't know, a hundred days for this to get done. Fucking hell. to get this done like now so I'm gonna 
I'm going to um, just add a conductive wire to this to this network, and hopefully, I should um, I shouldn't uh, overburden the system that I've got here. Make sure. Oh Jesus, stop vomiting up here, you fucking cunts. Why is he stressed? Soiled star. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need I need more toilets, I think. That's probably the, the issue that I'm having right now. No, that's not the problem. This is the fucking problem! Jesus! I don't understand. What what is it? What what's the problem? That's the problem. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What the fuck is with this shit? Who's doing this? Oh jeez, it takes so long for them to get some fucking igneous. Is emptying, I see. So, why are they stressed? They shouldn't be stressed. Fucking bull. 
should. temperature is the issue. Fertilization is the issue here, so what the fuck? Uh... Yeah, I need this um, weasel so I can call this area down. Oh my god. Who is pissing and shitting in this fucking place? Bullshit. Pipes. I, I, well, this is another thing. I don't know why they don't choose to use the transit tube. The transit tube is so much fucking quicker and they don't use it. Combination of the transit tube and the fire pole. Like, this makes no sense. guys fucking stupid or what? And again with the fucking water! Oh Jesus. Alright, this is this is great. This is fucking brilliant. Hell. 
Where is this water coming from? Like, how is it getting into here? Understand this guy. Yeah, it's the wrong element damage, but I don't know, like, seriously, how, how's the water getting into here? I know the water is coming into here through, through these pipes, but they ultimately come from the fucking liquid pump. I'm gonna close this off. I think that's the only solution. If I close this off, maybe, maybe the water, I mean, the water is eventually... Is essentially like I guess being absorbed and, and destroyed or something if uh, if they make it into these machines. But I don't know. I don't. I don't fucking know. Natural gas generator sweats polluted water. No, I understand that. But the polluted water shouldn't be making it into here. There's no there's no natural gas generators up here. I don't think it gets hot enough for the water to evaporate because it's like it requires 120 degrees to to do that. So we shouldn't be doing that. Or to just yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it reaches 64 degrees. That's not evaporation levels of um. And same in here as well. Like, and even then, like, in order for it to evaporate, it needs to be in contact with petroleum. So I don't know why it's how how it's gotten into here. Even the water up here, like it's it's going, it should be going straight down, not not into here. I uh, fucking I don't get it. Oh, fuck, man, even I, I fucking close this off. I'm gonna I'm not gonna get the plastic from this. Ah. like doing how much plastic do these produce 500 grams a second Fix this issue. Uh, oh, damn it. Power loop detected. No, I understand the power loop. There's a reason why I set the power loop because otherwise this power wouldn't. Uh, well, it wouldn't power it up. So fuck. I need the power loop.
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Wart, which is already here, so that's not too much of an issue. Good thing I've got millwood being produced now, so I shouldn't have any food issues again. That's good. I'm on 131 calories. It's mostly meat, so it's maybe not so much a, um, a testament to my, my passive farming abilities. Food poisoning. Nice. I like that she is powering this. That's good. I'm gonna set the priorities of... Yeah, she, he's gonna have um, high operating. Actually, maybe not high. Uh, very high. We'll make it high. Not very high. Uh, there we go. Okay. Fertilization is the issue here. So why is this broken? What the fuck? Oh no, I see why it's broken. No, I remember now. Because I was getting water in these pipes for some reason. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out. I clearly have a filter here. If, if this isn't... If it's not petroleum, it should be flowing into here, right? That's That's how I set it up. Okay, you know, no, that's that's shit. That's all right. That should be working now. And that, now I shouldn't have any, shouldn't shouldn't be having any like water flowing into <sighs> into this. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna give this some um, high priority, and we're gonna give these high priority as well. So if I look at this water, hopefully, yeah, by the time, by the time this, this gets around to it. I will have expelled all the water from this system. Hopefully. You know what, I'm gonna get some, um... Uh... I'm gonna build myself a, uh, a liquid pump here. Or oh, maybe not. No, no, petroleum... Petro no, I think the petroleum is cooling it down sufficiently. It's not, not too much of an issue. Deconstruct. Let the steam flow through. There isn't a power issue, so okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully, I should have should have um, gotten this fixed. This issue here eventually. It'll, uh... So 
solve itself. It's the power of transformers that I'm, I'm concerned about, mainly. Because if they don't work, then this this power circuit, this independent power circuit, won't work. So I have to keep siphoning power from uh, from elsewhere. Okay, perfect. This is working perfectly. Um, we'll try and set this to priority, top priority. Try and get as much plastic, plastic as we can. Okay, everything is back to normal. We don't have any issues now, which is good. Oh shit.